What's that? So we're getting out of the we're getting out of the spooky stuff. I mean, you're still getting the Halloween reviews, but besides that, um, recently I've been in a Spider-Man kick. I I've rewatched uh, Tom Holland Spider-Man. Thought Homecoming was alright. I think Far From Home is just fantastic. Then sometime like next, I keep hiccuping. I swear to God, sometime ne next week you should get Amazing Spider-Man unboxing because I got that. And well, then that, but. Here are my theories for the No Way Home. Um, before I get into it, if the upload slowed down, like, like in December or something like that, that's mostly because that's when I'm writing a script. That's when I'm gonna start like focusing on it a lot. I already have like seven, eight pages of it. It's doing. I think. I think it's all right. Um, of course, I won't share it on here for a while, probably. But you know, that's what I'm working on. I won't give like what it's about. But yeah, so that's, just in case uploads slow down for a little bit, that's that's why. But yeah, so my first theory is that I guess that the Spider Man or in this it, most people are saying it's confirmed. Um I'm not really believing it. I've seen like two trailer I've seen, you know, the the two trailers, but besides that I've kept off most stuff because like as I did with Halloween Kills, I saw the first trailer. Saw nothing else, didn't listen to any of the music, and just overall had a much better experience than I would have if I had, like, watched every trailer they put out and listened to all the music they had released. And, so, let's say they are in there. So, in the trailer, you clearly see MJ fall and Ned fall, too. Um, I think that they probably have already gone through the portal by now. This is if they're in the movie. I'm not 100% on that. Um, and have Andrew catch... MJ as you know a reversal of him not being able to catch Glenn Gwen <laughs> Not Glenn And then have Toby rescue Ned Or or just have Peter rescue Ned or something like that that would be pretty good, and they all fight, and they all win, and they all go back and beat this big, sad, emotional thing, or whatever. Um, and now my second theory, which is actually going to be longer and a more, like, like, drawn out. Um, so Far From Home, we had Mysterio as a villain, played brilliantly by Jake Gyllenhaal. And he had this illusion that he was putting on to Peter. You know, Peter got out of it, beat him and everything. Um, and then he was outed as Spider-Man. He said, now everybody knows that. And... M this theory is gonna be out there. What if he's still in the illusion? You are just a scared little kid in a sweat. What if after he was hit by that train, everything he saw next was Mysterio playing out a perfect, perfect, like, execution of the rest of the movie for him, for the rest of the events? Or, that's how the cinema moment with Happy, but once again, he, M Mysterio could have you know, portrayed that onto him. And that's why I would be kind of mad if, like, all the Spider-Man do come back, you know, it's this big thing, and then... All the drones just start coming down, and it's just Mysterio. I will cry just of anger, but that's that's pretty interesting. Like pretty interesting thing, and that's it. Those I only have two theories. Um, about that, I do not believe that Ned will become Hobgoblin. I think that's stupid, but these are my theories. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one. I'll see you actually in the resurrection.